Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm Jim Davis and this is Dave Vanell. Hey, and up first this week, we have an exciting hunt coming to you from Harrison County, West Virginia. Jim actually takes one of his best birds ever, and it happens to be a double bearded gobbler. Jimmy, you've waited a long time, buddy, to kill a double bearded gobbler. Yes, I have, so let's get right to the hunt. Hey guys, good morning. We have made it to the farm. Uh, last night I was able to put a good bird on the roost there to bed and I know pretty much you know within probably 100 yards of right where he's at so we got a long walk to the top of this mountain today so we got here super early I got my cameraman Gary Stevens fellow pro staffer with me this morning uh, you know signed up to climb that mountain with me so uh, it's late season we're in the last week here in West Virginia so uh, we're gonna try to make it happen so stick with us Guys, well, we have finally made it to the top of the ridge. It's 5.30. Uh, it seems like these birds start gobbling about 15 till 6, so we're right on time. I put that gobbler to bed last night, so I know he's about probably 175 yards out this ridge. There's a little point, probably 80 yards out through here. We're going to try to sneak up through here in the dark, get on that point, and wait for him to gobble. When I figure out exactly where he is, that's when we're going to make our move, so. It's game time, baby. Let's go.
Mahindra XTVs are rough, tough, and can get the job done no matter what you're doing. Right now, we have plenty of Mahindra XTVs on our lot to suit your project, your passion, and your budget. Haul more, tow more, go more with industry-leading towing capacity, plus they're built in the USA. Get your Mahindra XTV at Mahindra of Clarksburg off the Meadowbrook exit of I-79. Hi, I'm Todd Linker from Linker Tax Service. We do accounting, tax, payroll, and more. If you need someone to prepare your taxes for you or your business this year, stop by or give us a call. 304-657-2860. We do taxes. Rats Marine Service, your source for customized shallow water flat bottom boats jet powered by Tahatsu outboard motors. Perfect for fishing in the shallow water rivers or lakes. Great for hunters looking to get their gear into and out of that remote spot on the lake. Tahatsu Motors have the only five year warranty in the industry. Rats Marine Service is also an authorized Ben Coda Sales and Service Center. Rats Marine Service, 2198 Gully Turnpike, Flatwoods, West Virginia. Hey everyone, if you want to follow along with Brothers of the Woods Outdoors, give us a like on Facebook, Check out our Instagram page or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg, your home of the world's number one selling tractor.
Man, Dave, things are heating up fast. This gobbler comes in full strut, just to the left of the decoys, and Gary can't see him because of a large tree between the camera and the bird. Well, you know, so many times, Jim, when we're filming these hunts, the cameraman and the shooter, they just can't get together, and you have to hold off. tell you sometimes you know when you kill a bird and everything happens fast and you don't take time to savor the moment you know what the sun's rising it's a beautiful morning I thank you Lord for this bird it's my I don't know what he weighs he's a big bird but he's got a double beard and, and probably inch and a quarter or better hook spurs I'm just going to sit here a minute. I'm going to watch that sunrise and just be thankful that I'm a turkey hunter and thankful for God's outdoors. Hey guys, we got it done this morning. I am tagged out in West Virginia. Beautiful Harrison County Longbeard. I tell you what, what a beautiful morning, buddy. Buddy, I'm telling you what, you definitely had that bird pegged when you roosted it last night. You knew exactly where that bird was at. He followed the script. Uh, the only problem we had on this big oak ridge was there's a lot of big oaks, and, and Gary was, uh, you know, as, as filming goes, right behind a, a big oak, so I let him, I had to wait for a long time. I watched him strutting right in front of the decoys for a long time, and Gary couldn't see him on the camera. And I wasn't shooting until Gary gave me the okay, and... Uh, <laughs> I said, Gary, you got him? He said, yeah, and, and it didn't take me long to squeeze the trigger. I tell you what, it is a beautiful bird. My first double bearded long beard. He's got huge spurs, probably, you know, over inch and a quarter spurs. Uh, good Lord blessed us with just such a beautiful day. And Gary, I can't thank you enough, buddy, for filming me because self-filming's hard to do. I've already had a couple situations where I've had to beard the bead on a gobbler's head, self-filming, and couldn't take the shot because I couldn't get the camera on the bird and couldn't get it done. But with Gary, he's my cameraman this morning. We got it done. Thank Anytime, you very much. buddy, you need me, I'm here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Beautiful morning in Harrison County, West Virginia. And thank you very much for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Guys, I'm Tanner Burns. I'm the owner and operator of Full Draw Taxidermy in Buckhannon, West Virginia. Just wanted to encourage you to consider us for some of your turkey mounts this spring and your deer mounts this fall. You can check us out on Facebook at Full Draw Taxidermy. Give us a like, check out some of our pictures. Good luck this hunting season and God bless.
CEC Civil and Environmental Consultants is West Virginia's fastest growing engineering firm. We are a national firm providing local engineering and environmental solutions. CEC plays a vital role in creating jobs and opportunities for West Virginians. CEC is invested in the sustainable growth and success of our communities, employing local experts to tackle the area's most challenging projects. For more information, visit us at wearecec.com. CEC Civil and Environmental Consultants. Big firm opportunities, small firm culture. Cardinal Electric, supporting the outdoors for generations to come. Supplying your generator, residential, commercial, and industrial electrical needs. Serving the Tri-State area with over 10 years of experience. Give us a call at 304-871-6000 or visit us on the web at www.cardinalelectric-inc.com. is more than a bundle. It's more than a combo deal. It's not just stuff. This is your home, your car, and you want to give them the protection they deserve with home and auto insurance. State Farm agents get it. It's why they're here. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg, your home of the world's number one selling tractor. Man, Jim, congratulations, buddy, on a nice long beard, and welcome to the Double Bearded Club. Well, i tell you what, it feels great. Up next, we head to Ohio with the Murphy Brothers, but up first is this week's Tip of the Week. Hey, everyone, it's Jack with Brothers of the Woods Outdoors, and it's time for your Tip of the Week. I want to talk to you today about taking the accuracy of your shotgun to the next level. There are a few things that you can do to your turkey gun to increase your odds of success. Consider putting a red dot scope on your turkey gun and matching that up with TSS ammo. The red dot scope will allow you to see the entire gobbler compared to just open sights. The TSS shells will give you more pellets on impact as well as increase your range. These two tips will increase your odds of success in the turkey woods this spring. And that's your Rats Marine Service Tip of the Week. Well, it's Jack and Brian Murphy here once again from Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. We are uh, on our way to a uh, piece of property in Ohio. We are still chasing the elusive Eastern Gobbler. <laughs> and uh, it seems like, Brian, we might be at this point the only ones in the team that doesn't have a turkey. Uh, it's it's sounding that way. It's sounding that way. Unfortunately. Yeah, so, so we gotta we gotta take care of business here. Or um, but not for the lack of trying. No, I mean we've had some close calls, but we feel pretty confident uh, we'll get on some uh, turkeys here and be able to bring you the footage. And we're excited about it. And hey, it won't be uh, 23 degrees this time. Yeah. Maybe 93. 93. <laughs> But um, no, the uh, weather's supposed to be nice, and uh, like I said, we feel pretty confident we'll be able to get on some. So uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll have one in the morning, and we're going to be here all weekend. So just two, stay two in the morning. Yeah, two in the morning. All we're right, going to double right. up. We're going to double up. We're going to call it. All right, all right. But um, so stick with us for all of the turkey hunting action, and. Uh, we will be right back. Well, one thing's for sure, Jim. I love Brian's attitude. He's already calling that they're going to kill two in the morning. That's exactly right. Hey, let's get right to the hunt. We are in Ohio. It's um, Saturday morning. We uh, we tried to sneak in on some that were roosted this morning, and um, we got in there a little bit late. And uh, man, we got into a flock of them. We really got some good footage of some gobblers up on the roost and them flying down and all that. But uh, uh, just because we couldn't get down to the blind, we kind of got pinned down and um, just didn't have anything that came close enough. And so we had to make a move. Now we're in a, a big valley here where we have a big uh, vantage point for you know a long way and. Um, 
we don't have too much working in our favor at this point because they're not really gobbling. Um, they're hand up. We saw a gobbler this morning with five hens, mm -hmm. five different hens that were following him. And so we're going to have to, um, we just want to hang out here maybe till late morning catch one that's in the mood maybe that's moved away from some hens and see if we can get lucky but um tough hunting it just yeah. ain't gobbling yeah, it just it's ain't just, gobbling it's um yeah it's been pretty challenging but that's all right you know we'll we'll keep at it here and make it happen so uh that is the state of the union in ohio with uh Jack Murphy, Brian Murphy, Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Boy, Jim, when the turkeys aren't gobbling late morning, it's easy to lose focus. That's a fact, Dave, but I tell you what, as a turkey hunter, you know things can change in a matter of seconds, and that's just what's going to happen to Brian and Jack. XTVs are rough, tough, and can get the job done no matter what you're doing. Right now, we have plenty of Mahindra XTVs on our lot to suit your project, your passion, and your budget. Haul more, tow more, go more with industry-leading towing capacity, plus they're built in the USA. Get your Mahindra XTV at Mahindra of Clarksburg off the Meadowbrook exit of I-79. Rats Marine Service, your source for customized shallow water flat bottom boats, jet powered by Tahatsu outboard motors. Perfect for fishing in the shallow water rivers or lakes. Great for hunters looking to get their gear into and out of that remote spot on the lake. Tahatsu motors have the only five year warranty in the industry. Rats Marine Service is also an authorized Ben Coda sales and service center. Rats Marine Service, 2198 Gully Turnpike, Flatwoods, West Virginia. 30 years ago, my dad founded this company based on a few key principles, specialty inventory, exceptionally clean vehicles, and good straight dealing. We've been serving Bridgeport into the 21st century thanks to our internet and our specialty tools that allow us to search for vehicles for customers. If they call us and say, this is what they're looking for, we'll go find it for them. For the best deal on four wheels, check us out at cartermotors.com. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg and these fine sponsors. Brian Murphy from Brothers of the Woods Outdoors up here in Northern Ohio. And as you can see, got it done. And I'm going to tell you what, this old boy surprised us. We were uh, up on this hillside in a blind, and we were actually watching a hen that was down below. And uh, she had snuck in out of this thick bottom that we got down here. And uh, we were more paying attention to her. We'd been calling off and on, and uh, no goblin, wasn't hearing a gobble one. And uh, next thing you know, Jack uh, sent Brian, 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 right out of here, right here, right here. And I was I was actually looking down the hill thinking that hen was coming up or another gobbler with it. And he's like, no, on the decoys. It happened so fast, folks, that we wasn't able to get the camera on fast enough. 
to get a whole lot of footage but uh, while we were getting set up this thing had attacked my decoy tore it down and uh, put on a quick little show and we was able to then get the camera on and get on him and uh, I had to uh, even revert to a left-handed shot to, uh, to get him down but uh, just tickled to death I mean this is uh, my first Ohio bird and uh, we we're up here on a, a big farm and uh, we actually started up on the other other end of this ravine hunting this morning and we was covered up in birds but we got in just a little bit late and um, didn't get the setup that we were wanting got some good footage of the birds on roost and flying down but we just got got in a pickle they they had us locked down we wasn't able to get uh, set up right and uh, but we let them pass they, they ever all the birds dispersed out and went everywhere and uh, uh, we decided to come up here and, and check this end out and boy I'm glad we did uh, but like I said I couldn't be more happier this is just a tremendous bird I'm uh, just thrilled just thrilled and uh, I'm gonna get this uh, baby up to the truck and get get it tagged and get it uh, checked in and all but uh, another bird down in Ohio Brian Murphy, Jack Murphy, Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Well, Dave, looks like Jack and Brian are finally on the board. Yes, they are, Jim. I know they're excited about that. Next week, we have three exciting hunts for you. First off, we have pro staffer Gary Stevens. He's going to tag out in Dodgers County. Then we're going to stay in Dodgers County, and pro staffer Eli Gain is going to kill some great birds there, Jim. That's right. And as always, thanks for watching, Brothers of the Woods Outdoors.